Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a do some memory keeping spreads from our Florida vacation that we just got back from. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those spreads today. So stay tuned for some fun memory keeping spreads. <music> photos off at Walgreens. A lot of times I do print them off at home, but I'm not at home right now, so I don't have all my equipment. I do have a video on how I print my photos from Walgreens, and I'll be sure and link that in the description box if you want to check that out because it's super easy and super affordable. I got all of these photos for four pages of memory keeping spreads, and I printed them it to the size that I needed using the print to size app. And that app is super duper easy as well to use. And then I even got a five by seven for one of the pages. Okay. So this photo journal is, I'll, I'll link the product in the description box too, but it's laid out really, really easily for you. It's not like a, a regular planner that has every day of the year or anything like that. So these are some previous spreads I did before and I haven't completed all the pages yet, but I'm still working on those. That was from 2021. I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the next section to use for this vacation. And I'm gonna start out with this page. So I'm gonna do this page and this page, which would should be super easy for that one. And then also this, and I printed the photos exactly to what they say here, 2.4 by 2.4 inches. And these are, all of these are 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. And then I've got a place for a five by seven, which is what I'm gonna use that one for and just do some journaling and stickers. All right, so I'm gonna get started with this first one. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and trim my photos to fit. So let's see, I've got those on one page. And I formatted these when I was using the app to a four by six photo sheet. So these are the two that I need, but I didn't want to waste any of the photo paper. So I just added in some smaller photos that maybe I can use on another spread. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these to size. Okay, so the two pictures I printed for these were, were when we went to Diego's Burrito Factory. I didn't get one of Dale and I together, but he took that one of me, and then this is a picture of our food. So I figured I'd just put those down and then do some stickers and journaling. And I'm just gonna use regular old glue stick to put these down. Normally would use a tape runner, but I don't have any of that with me. So I'm just gonna make do with this. So that one's going there and then this one here. It was so delicious too. We had a margarita, of course. And for this spread, I'm gonna use Live Love Posh Hello Summer. I think I'll use this colorful tropical floral because it really goes well with like the colors in the picture. So I think I'll just do that. Okay, and along with that, I'm gonna use some scrapbook paper that I have. These are just scraps of scrapbook paper in yellow and green. I just think that's gonna be really cute. So I wanna start off with a corner to cover up this kind of blush color since it doesn't really go with what we're, we're doing today. Okay, so I've got two pieces about the same length. I just want to like a border to kind of cover this up. So I'm going to hold them both and tear them both at the same time, but then I'm going to layer them one on top of the other where you'll see a little bit of the green behind. Okay, so that covers that up perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue stick on the back of this one.
Okay, so that worked out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this off the back or the bottom. I've really been missing doing memory keeping and also it's so much fun to look back at the spreads and remember all the, the fun memories you had and the things you did that you may have forgotten about. All right, now I'm just gonna do the same thing for up here. Okay, I like this quote that says, summer state of mind. I don't know if I want it with the leaves on it or not, because I do have one that I took the leaves off of here. But let's see. Yeah, I think I want it just plain. So I'm gonna use the other one. right here. And I just remembered I have these margarita stickers from Designer Chameleon that I got just, oh, a few weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, but they are so cute. Let's do just this traditional one right there. And then one of the limes, like the slices and the full lime. Maybe I'll cut these. Okay, and then put the little limes kind of spilling onto the page. And I love Mandy's stickers and she's such a sweetheart too. I'll put her, her shop link in the description box. She hand draws all of her designs. I think I'll put this one over here. How cute is that? Now let's get some of these flowers going. I'm gonna put this one right on top of the, the frame, the Polaroid frame. I love how it makes it look like a Polaroid. And We'll do that one there. Actually, I'm gonna layer this leaf underneath the lime. Adorable. Okay, and then I've got this piece that's already kind of, it's already cut for the side. So where could I do that? I'm gonna do that right here. was standing up a bit too tall. So I'll just trim that down and put that back. Okay, and then let's do this here for a little bit of leaf action. And then with this piece, I'm gonna trim a little bit of it off, not much, and use it right down here. Just... All right, let's see. Oh, I've got a few salt shakers too. Let's use a salt shaker up here by the margarita picture. I didn't get this part on camera, but this, this little page in my quotes pack, it says, good try. I did a little sticker surgery and took the good and then an S and an O so I can put so good right here because it was. I got a burrito bowl and it was delicious. So there is the S. So don't be afraid to cut your quotes apart or words if it's something that you don't think you're gonna end up using anyway. Might as well go ahead and get some use out of it. And I got a, an exclamation point off of another one that said, hello weekend. These that I've already taken apart for the hello. Okay, so that worked out great. Okay, let's just add a few things 
on the side and just throughout the spread. With that little scrap there. All right, now I'm gonna add this here. I'm gonna save that, but then do some little small flowers, kind of like I did over here. Let's put this one over here. In this little tiny like black and white icons book, I think I have a little spoon and fork I'm gonna put beside that so good because I want it to have something. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit more. Use this pink flower. I'm gonna use this little cluster to put a few little leaves beside that one. And this is perfect since it's a smaller flower. Actually, I don't like that so close to each other. Let's do that somewhere else. Do it right down here. A little bit more leaf action, and then this part of it over here. Okay, that's adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and do my journaling and then come back and show you what it looks like and see if we need to add anything else. journaling done and I think what I'm going to start doing with these is either writing the date somewhere small or doing a little date stamp. I have one at home and I can always come back and do that. So when I look back, I don't have to think too hard about when it was or anything. I'd like maybe another little quote or something up here. So let me see what I have in my quotes book. I could do just this little vacay mode sticker or I could do there's colored ones over here in different shades. Okay, so this one's like black and gold. How would that look? I don't know if I like that with that. Let's see about this one. We could do this. I'm gonna cut it apart though and put it side by side. I like that, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that right up here at the top. I think that looks cute. And I'm gonna do these little heart-shaped sunglasses that I found in Hello Summer, right there. And that page is done. So let's go on to this page. I have, okay, I printed two four by six photos, but I did not crop this one correctly. So I'm gonna have to do something to figure that out. But the other one was us eating here with this couple that we met there. Let's see, I feel like that should go at the top. And then this here. Okay, so what I've decided to do is have this here, no wait, this here and this here. But I'm going to close this off and make it look like it was just 
intended for this size photo. So I'm just gonna draw a line. Okay, and then I'm gonna white out that other line. You probably won't even be able to see that line after I, after I put the picture in, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. And put this, I'm gonna put this one on first. So I'm gonna put this here. And I'm just gonna wipe this out a little bit because I'm gonna use some of those palm leaf stickers in the Functionally Chic book from Live Love Posh, the green one. And I just don't want these to show through. Okay, so I'm gonna do that there and trim this off. And this piece I'm gonna put underneath here. Oh, that looks cute, cuter than I even thought. And then we'll do this piece over here on the other side of this photo. I think I'm gonna do a box here, like one of these green ones, probably the lighter one if I have one. Okay, I'm gonna just slide this out. So I can write a little bit more, or maybe put a quote there. Do this quote and it has green behind it. I just found it in my quotes book. It says, finding paradise wherever I go. Oh, I really like that. That's perfect. And then I just need to journal here and I'm gonna add some more leaves though. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna put that one there. Okay, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and do a, like a little border across the top. Do this one going this way. Let's do this one here. Okay, and then more of it right down here. Then I'll put this one here. the rest of it down here. I've got a little bit more I could use. Okay, how about that one there?
almost done with this and then I just need to write the stuff in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in and then add some, I don't know, maybe some kind of sparkles or something. All right, I wanna see what kind of little something gold I have to go there, in there. So I've got this little book. I think I might do these. These came from that Jungle Vibes book. They just look kind of fun, don't they? I think those just add a fun little detail. They kind of look like little confetti. Okay, just a couple more. All right, let's go into the next one. So this one has a place for six photos and a line for journaling. I'll do a few stickers, but this one should be fairly easy. And I already have my pictures cut. Let's see. Okay, I think that works. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. All right, I'm gonna write a little bit about each photo and then we'll decorate with a few stickers.
got the journaling done. I just wrote just a teeny bit about each picture. For this one, I'm gonna use Planty Things Floral Beach. And I just want a lot of pretty florals around. Okay, I'm gonna do just a lot of this along the top. Since this piece is rather large, I'm gonna go ahead and just use it all right here. And this one's almost done. There's really not much room to do anything else if you use all the room for the photos, which is fine with me because these were some of my these are some of my favorite photos from the trip. That one there. I'm gonna do some of these larger clusters just to kind of knock it out because these are easy to get it done because they're so large. Okay, let's do, let's do a little bit more of this. Do some more of this. Okay, so that's that one. And let's go ahead and do the last one. This is my absolute favorite photo that, I, that we took while we were there. We had the doggies out on the beach. It was their first time to go to the beach. The sun was about to set or was setting. And a sweet girl asked if she we would like her to take our photo and I said yes of course and I love the way it turned out so let me just look at the date for this photo this was on August 5th I think I'm going to do instead of just the all caps I'm going to do just a little bit of more of a lettering for this for just the Panama City Beach part I think I want to use some of these hexagons maybe in these corners just for like a little decorative element. I 
Okay, let's do, try that. And I think that's fun with that kind of like a, it's got kind of a geometric vibe anyway with these squares, really soft pastel squares. So I've got three more of those. I think I like this. Put that one there and this one here. sure how it was going to work out, but I really like it. Okay, and then I want to do some other stickers too. Let's do the flip-flops. And floral, I'm going to use Floral Beach for this also. Okay, perfect. And what else do we want to do? Oh, maybe one of these big words. Let's do beach. No, let's do waves. This color will be really pretty. Oh, I really like that there. Okay, so we'll do waves there and... What about happy? I think that's cute. Let's do just a few more flowers. I have one more of this beautiful pink one. I'm gonna take the flip-flops up, because I don't know, I think I wanna stick with the florals. Here's another beautiful larger flower. I'm gonna put this one over here though. Okay, I could try out these vines. I think I've, I've cut this one before, but it's okay. I can figure it out. Yeah, see that works okay. Oh, that's pretty. I've tried to use these in so many different spreads and I just never could get them to work, but I think it looks pretty here. Okay, I've got a couple more of those. So I'm gonna do them down here. just tricky to me. Okay, that might work. What do we think? Or should I stick with, or should I stick with them sort of going the same direction? I think maybe that might be the ticket. Just use some of the scraps here and there. Let's do happy up here instead. Do this down here. I'm gonna do this here. Oh, 
Okay, and then we'll do this beside happy. Okay, and then we'll do that there. I think we need a little green right here. Just a little. And I'll use the rest of that over here. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I like the, the little addition of the pastel hexagons. And that glue stick makes the pictures kind of curl up, but as soon as I put it back in the book and it sits for a little bit, it'll be fine. So that is, so I've got, this was the first one and the second one. And we did that one and it was super quick and easy to do all of these. I mean, these two were probably the ones that took the most, but these two came together really quick and easy. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.